Okay, let's download and install Virtual Serial Ports Emulator. I'll put the download link below. And this gives a little bit of information on the description, the requirements, Windows 2000 XP Vista and Windows 7. I'm running Windows 7 or Windows 10 Professional. And it gives some information about the 32-bit and 64-bit versions. There's only one download, and uh, mine is not registered. So every time that I open it, it asks me if I want to register the 64-bit version. And I just click no, and it goes ahead and runs. So scroll down, find the download button, click on download, save the file. And that goes into my downloads folder. There it is. I'm going to right click, left click on extra, extract all, and I can extract it to the downloads folder. That's fine. There's only four files in the zip file. We want to run the setup VSPE. So I'll double click on it. Click next. Uh, I get this window because I already have it installed and you won't have it installed so you'll just click install. I'm going to hit cancel. Get out of here. And once you have it installed, it'll show up on a recently added or your programs. Okay, you have it installed and we want to configure it. I can drag and drop this on my desktop to create a shortcut, and that's what I did. I'm going to open it from here. Gives me a little message. Do I want to order the license? No. Please order. Okay. Well, here it is. And we want to create a splitter, and that's under Create New Device. We'll click this. This gives a little information about a connector. You want to go to the drop down and click splitter. Gives a little information about the splitter. And what we're doing is we're using, I'm going to use COM4. And I'm going to create a virtual serial port. And I'm going to name it COM8. And then I'm going to use it from now on instead of COM4. Now COM8 is not going to show up under your device manager. So you'll have to remember COM8 or whatever virtual serial port you create. So I'm going to click on next. And uh, this is the data source. This is the COM port that we have. That's my USB cable, COM4. And I just doubled that number so it's easy, easy for me to remember. So I'm going to create COM8. And uh, that's what I'm going to use from now on. I'm going to unselect this and this. I'm going to go over to settings. And I want to change the speed. If you have your setup like mine, and it needs to be set to 115.2 to view the N1MM logger waterfall. So we want 115.2. I didn't change anything else here. I'm going to click OK, and then I'm going to click Finish. All I have to do is take a look down here, and it shows that it's initialized and it's running. So this needs to be running before I run in one and then log it. Hey, thanks for coming by. Appreciate it very much. All right, KB9, NGX, Steve, come on in here and get you a hot cup and stand by. Okay, here's a little added bonus. I want this program running when I use my radio ham radio applications. And it's kind of a pain to go through it every time. I want to be able to just double click on this and have it open up and run this splitter. So what I did was I create I saved this file. Once I created the virtual COM port, I clicked file, save as, and I'll show you I saved it as com4com8.bspe. You can name it anything you want. Just save it under the, the C drive. Replace it. I'm going to quit this. And I don't have it running right now. 
This is my desktop shortcut. I'm going to right click and go to properties and under target I've entered this. This is the line that I entered and that goes to the configuration file that I've just saved. So now all I have to do is I can put this in my startup folder too I guess but all I have to do before I run my programs and before I want to use COM8 I'll double click on this it gives me that little warning again I'll click no and then that and I just click OK and now this is minimized and it's running it's running down here I can click on it and you see the status of it it's initialized and it's OK so now it's just running down on the tray tells me it's been minimized and I can go ahead and run my ham radio apps now I suppose I can go ahead and put this in my startup folder so every time I start up my computer I'll have this running you may ask what is a VSPE what good is it what can I do with it well I'm running N1MM logger during a ready contest and I'm using FSK now normally I use two cables, a CIB cable and a USB cable. But with VSPE running in the background and using COM8, I can use that COM port for my rig control and also for FSK keying. So it eliminates the one CIV cable. Now which is better? Well it's your choice. Uh, personally, I prefer using two cables. It's easy for me to do. I connect the cable, the CIV cable, and leave it. I don't have to mess with any other software. When you use VSPE, that's just one more link in the chain that can break. And, uh, of course, uh, I've found software to be uh, unreliable at times. It seems like when I'm ready to run a program, get into a contest, there's always something that pops up and it's always uh, usually software related so you add VSPE that's one more link in the chain to break anyway it works really well I was using it during the contest over the weekend and I really enjoyed it I'm using N1MM logger and you can see my uh, scope up there it's running off a of COM8 and I have it set up uh, for the ICOM 7300 and I'm also transmitting FSK and again using COM8 for FSK King. So there you go. If you have any comments or questions, please make them below. Thanks for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. And I do appreciate the email and questions that I get. So again, please like, subscribe, and share. 73 and good DX.